watching 7 News, working for you. Welcome back to 7 News. Three dogs rescued from a hoarding case this year have found love and a second chance at life with three local college students. 7 News reporter Annalise Murphy has more on how six lives have been chained forever. Meet Max, Noodle, and Harlow. They were rescued in May of this year with 25 other dogs from a hoarding case in Jefferson County. Development manager for the Jefferson County Humane Society tells me that the house they were rescued from was in such deplorable condition that it was deemed condemned. Now, Max, Noodle, and Harlow are living their best lives in college with their owners. Gabby Sanyoger, Max's mom, is a sophomore at Robert Morris University studying clinical psychology. She says Max is about five months old and a certified emotional support animal. Um, staying on campus last year was really hard for me. Um, I would come home like after class and then just stay home until nighttime and then go back up for bed. But now like it's it's kind of hard to do that, so I have to stay up at school and go on walks and he helps me study and it, it's really nice. Gabby says Max is very popular at Robert Morris. Everyone else at school, they all absolutely adore him. Um, I have so many people that just come and knock on my door just to say, can we see Max? Can we say hi? And he just brings not just me, but so many other people a lot of joy. Noodle found love in the arms of Grace Phillips, a senior nursing major at Muskingum University. Grace says she saw her photo on Facebook and thought Noodle was adorable. I came down. I signed all the papers, I checked her out, she was just sitting by herself in there, she had a little cone on, and she just started wagging right away, and I was like, I can already tell, she's going to be my best friend, so. She's been great, she's super calm, super chill, but she also has her moments. Ray says Noodle has made a huge difference in her life. Harlow found a home on the hilltop with Sydney Kirkpatrick, who majors in elementary education at West Liberty University. Our experience at West Lib has actually been really good. She's really nice with all the other people, and she's made some animal friends as well, and she just loves it up there in her own little space. Sydney says Harlow is a big cuddle bug who loves to sleep and says she likes having the responsibility of taking care of her. I have the responsibility of living on my own, but then I have the responsibility of taking care of my own pet and doing my own thing instead of having somebody, hey, you need to go do this. I do it on my own, so I think it's a really good responsibility thing. All of the dogs rescued from May's hoarding case have been adopted. An incredible story of how a little bit of love and kindness can change lives. Reporting in Jefferson County, I'm Annalise Murphy, working for you.